This morning, she's back home dealing with a tragedy. Hudson's mother and brother were murdered yesterday at their home on the city's south side. Her nephew is still missing. Mike Buccinelli is at the family's home with more. Good morning, Mike. Hey, Suzanne, that's the home that you're looking at behind me right now. Inside, that is where Jennifer Hudson's mother was found shot to death in the living room. Jennifer Hudson's brother was found shot to death in a bedroom. Right now, a small makeshift memorial has popped up. There are a few teddy bears there, but I think it would be a whole lot larger if police weren't standing by in cars, keeping most of the curious onlookers at bay. That is, they continue a massive search for Jennifer Hudson's missing nephew. Oscar-winning actress Jennifer Hudson is in Chicago after returning late last night on what was likely the worst day of her young life. That after her mother, Darnell Hudson Donerson, and brother, Jason Hudson, were found murdered in her mother's Englewood home. There was no sign of any forced entry. We're not sure if anything's missing from the house. What police do know is that William Balfour is a suspect. Balfour is Hudson's brother-in-law. He was reportedly arrested by police last night. But there was no sign of the Academy Award-winning actress's nephew, seven-year-old Julian King. The five-foot-tall, 135-pound child has been the subject of an Amber Alert. Police said the boy might have been in the company of Balfour, who was believed to have fled in either a Chevy Suburban or a Chrysler Concord. The four-door teal green Chrysler was found overnight, but there was no sign of young Julian. It really saddens me because they were actually good people. Police say shots were heard between 8 and 9 a.m. Friday morning by neighbors, but the bodies weren't found for at least six more hours by Jennifer Hudson's sister, Julia. Julia is married to Balfour, but the two had been fighting recently over a car and Balfour's possible unauthorized sale of the vehicle. Police aren't saying anything about a possible motive. That, as friends and loved ones mourn the loss of a movie star's mother and brother, while hoping that no harm has come to her young nephew. As Jennifer would say, you know, uh, I'm just, she's there in my prayers, and at this time I'm just, uh, you know, just hoping for the best. And that Amber Alert is still in effect at this hour. While I was driving to this location along the Dan Ryan Expressway, I could see the signs telling anyone who has seen a white Chevy Suburban to call police immediately. The Illinois license plate on that vehicle is x 58 4859. Again, a white Chevy Suburban, Illinois license plate X584859. As for Balfour, he has a lengthy criminal record, including a conviction.